We wouldn't have been able to do the development that we've done without the support of the incubator at Macquarie University. Our startup started to look at the problem around waste and how to reuse it effectively. We've developed a composite that actually takes textile and plastic waste and can be used for all sorts of things like tabletops and desks and interior building materials to stop those waste streams going into landfill. It's given us two homes. The first home was to help us develop the idea and, and source the means that we needed to get it off the ground. And the second, the Deep Tech Lab has actually enabled us to do the experimentation that we needed to create the product in the composite called Fabtech, which has now been tested and approved by the CSIRO. The world is facing a major shortage of copper. We urgently need a solution that will address polymetallic, low-grade and contaminated resources that we actually have available to us. We basically take those copper resources and we dissolve the copper into extremely concentrated sodium chloride. We are able to produce copper cheaply, cleanly, at a fraction of the carbon footprint of existing copper production technologies. The support that we get through Macquarie University is already transformative to our business. We are already making new connections, we're already making new breakthroughs. It gives us kudos when we're raising capital with our potential investors. It gives us education and support. The opportunity to be here gives us the opportunity to bring our technology to market quickly and efficiently, to work in partnership for the benefit where one plus one equals three. Transcatheter heart valves are bioprosthetic valves that are implanted using a catheter. These valves, in up to 40% of the cases, leak from around the bioprosthesis. We have developed a highly expansile polymer and the technology to attach it onto a transcatheter heart valve, eliminating paravalvular leakage. For endoluminal sciences, MQI offers access to an incredible network of individuals that help provide mentorship for the growth of both leaders and employees of the company. The existing lab facilities have helped us rapidly expand from a preclinical phase to a clinical phase, helping us achieving our clinical trial milestone rather rapidly. We're solving a problem for men who at the moment have a blood test called PSA. That test is for prostate cancer and unfortunately it has many false positives. We're solving that problem with a product called MyCheck Prostate. It's a blood test that gives doctors a indication of whether a man has clinically significant or aggressive prostate cancer. The incubator has been great in helping us in training in many different areas, whether it's pitching, whether it's regulatory, whether it's about raising funds. They're critical for startups and scale because they put you in an ecosystem. It allows you to access the, the skills that you need that you don't have within your organisation. We are developing a sensitive enzyme-free technology for DNA sequence detection. PCR has led the way for DNA sequence detection and provides a sensitive, accurate solution. However, PCR does require specialised equipment and perishable enzymes, which means that it's not suitable for some applications. We are at an early stage, we're working to establish a proof of concept or prototype and we require lab space to do that. So without an uh, incubator, we wouldn't have a chance. In my experience, the Macquarie Deep Tech Incubator is a model for how incubators should be done.